Hey guys, welcome back. This week, Japan's infrastructure was attacked by hackers, new phishing campaign launched by SolarWinds hackers, new backdoor spreading through Linux rootkits, and our CV of the week, a Simlic exchange vulnerability in Kubernetes' run C. After the US's colonial pipeline was shut down due to a ransomware attack a few weeks back. Last week, Japan's transportation entities were also crippled by hackers. The hackers managed to gain access to these entities by hacking Fujitsu's software as a service platform and gaining access to its systems. Fujitsu is a Japanese tech giant providing IT services to many companies around the world as well as many government entities. The service that the hackers targeted was Project Web Enterprise, which provides cloud-based collaboration and file-sharing services to large enterprises. After discovering the breach, Fujitsu suspended all operation of Project Web and informed the relevant ministries. Fujitsu didn't disclose the scope of the attack, but reportedly more than 76,000 emails have been seized by the hackers, as well as air traffic control data from Narita Airport, the biggest airport in Japan. In other news, SolarWinds hackers are back at it again with a new phishing campaign. Microsoft Threat Intelligence Center has uncovered a wide-scale malicious email campaign operated by Nobelium, the group behind the attacks against SolarWinds. In this campaign, the hackers posed as US Agency for International Development, which is the agency that funds aid projects around the world. Nobelium's hackers managed to do this by using breached accounts that the USAID uses to send emails as part of their marketing campaigns. The phishing campaign is targeting more than 150 organizations in 24 countries with the goal of spreading misinformation. It is still unclear how many victims were exposed to these emails, but the researchers at Microsoft suspected it might be a sign that these hackers are experimenting with new tactics following the success of the SolarWinds hack. Moving on, a new backdoor is spreading through Linux rootkits. NetLab researchers discovered a new backdoor capable of stealing user login credentials, device information, and executing arbitrary commands on Linux systems. The malware, named FaceFish, is capable of delivering different rootkits at different times and consists of two parts, a dropper and a rootkit. FaceFish infects the system by executing a command injection to retrieve a dropper from a remote server, which detects the runtime environment, decrypts a file to get C2 information, and configures the rootkit. This rootkit takes charge of collecting and transmitting sensitive data back to the hacker's server. It is still unclear which vulnerabilities are being exploited by this malware, but the researchers who discovered it say that the targeted system has been plagued by dozens of security issues. Now for our CVE of the week, Kubernetes runs its Simlink exchange vulnerability. Run C is a tool that runs containers, which are standard units of software that package up code so applications can run quickly from one environment to another. A researcher took a look at Run C and discovered that the mount destination of this tool can be swapped using a Simlic exchange attack. A Simlic exchange attack occurs when a symbolic link is inserted inside a file and is disguised as the link to the original file. When victims click the symbolic link, they will be moved to the root of a shared directory. In this case, the attack can be executed by mounting a container inside a volume shared with another container that is running a Simlic exchange attack. This vulnerability is possible due to a time of check to time of use flaw which tricks RunC to mount outside the rootFS. A simple version of this attack isn't that harmful, but by using some container orchestrators like Kubernetes, an attacker can elevate the attack and gain access to the victim's file system 
without having complete control over the container configuration. That's it for now, more details about what we just mentioned can be found in the description below. Don't forget to follow us on our other channels to keep up with the latest news and advisories. Thank <laughs> you.